It is the final night of 2023. So I thought I would do something that I did a few years back and found really fun. I basically, I'm just gonna like vlog as I get ready to go to my New Year's Eve party tonight. I got some new makeup products that I haven't tried before. I'm just gonna talk about my year. I know it's very self-indulgent. It's probably not gonna be that interesting to most of you, um, but if you happen to find it interesting, yay. <laughs> if not, that's fine. You don't have to watch. I'm just drinking a coffee while I do because um, one of my 2023 things is that I barely drink anymore. This stuff is a blurring balm that apparently will stop my face from looking shiny because I'm real shiny. Um, I don't know how to use it. I guess we'll, I, I guess we'll find out. So yeah, 2023 was the first year of my life since I was like, 14 where i had not been drunk even one time um if you don't know this about me i also don't do drugs i've never been high no shame to people who do do whatever you want it's just not really my kind of thing i don't really like my um brain feeling altered if that makes sense it's just not something i generally enjoy but i did used to like getting drunk because i felt like it made me a little more socially confident i would have less awkward interactions where i didn't know how to talk to people which is certainly a thing that happens to me all the time. Don't care about crowds, find that easy. I am not good about like small one-on-one -on -one interactions or small groups, really bad at it actually. So I used to drink because I felt like it made me like better socially. And then when I didn't drink at the start of the year because I was training for a boxing match, which was certainly a big part of my 2023, I realized I was going to these like games industry events and people like have been drunk and I wasn't. And I realized that it didn't make any of them any better socially. I'm sure I've just used this wrong. It has this little spoon. What is this for? Was I supposed to scoop it out? I don't know. It didn't make any of those people any better socially. It just made them stupid. And I was like, oh, this is how I've been this whole time when I thought I was being smart and funny on alcohol. Actually, I was really dumb. <laughs> I'll still like have a beer or a glass of champagne or like a small thing. But for the most part, I don't do it anymore. And I like it. I don't know what to do on my eyes. I'm wearing like a gray dress. Which maybe I can do something gray. No. I also this year quit. Um, I used to have two coffees a day, like I kind of needed them. I will now still occasionally have coffee, but really just when I want to for fun. So I managed to also effectively quit a caffeine addiction. Pretty successful in those two regards. Like I'll take those as, as wins. By the way, I mentioned this on Instagram. I love this. It's from my friend Kate. She bought it for me. It's Pat McGraw Labs. Mothership eyeshadow palette. I'm a huge fan. This is so pretty, but my year started out really, really tough. So I was training for this boxing match while working full time, which was absurd, like honestly ridiculous and nobody should ever do that. And that's why nobody else did do it. It's like insane, but it was also a really defining part of my year that um, a family member whom I love dearly, obviously has cancer, terminal cancer. And so while I'm training for this boxing match and working these two jobs, also trying to stay up, you know, to be awake for when I knew they were going to the doctor or whatever. And it was awful. Like that was, it was just so hard to then have to exercise for three hours a day and work a full-time job and try and exist like partly on an Australian time zone so that my family could access me while things were really, really bad. The doctors called us the night before the fight and told my mom she needed to fly home because they thought he was gonna die the night before the fight, that's how I slept. Um, he's still alive, uh, he still has cancer, but he's doing really well. But um, yeah, that was super hard. Obviously the boxing match itself that I did was really fun. I had a great time, I really enjoyed it. It went kind of how I expected. I mean, I thought I would lose that part I didn't expect, but like I forgot all my form. Everyone says you do when you like train and then you actually have a fight. You just kind of forget everything. And that totally happened to me. I didn't breathe properly. I got asthma, like it was, yeah. But it was really fun. It was a really fun thing to do with somebody. And I'm no longer afraid of being punched in the face. So that's kind of cool, <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. It's a weird, it's a weird POV that I feel very privileged to like have in my brain now. It's like, I have the first person perspective and the memory of walking through a stadium and the song I, I picked is playing and people are cheering for me and then you're inside a boxing ring and you're punching somebody in the face and you just hear whips of sounds and people are, are just screaming things at you and those lights. Then you get smashed in the face really hard and, and the recovery is like, cool, damn, that was really good. It's just like such a unique perspective, such a unique thing to have lived through that I just feel like super glad to have now, you know, it's in my brain. That's cool, I think. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. I had a really, really good time and then 
After that, I got pneumonia. I had pneumonia for four months this year, three months this year. My God, that was obviously also a really big part of my year. To be clear, I'm ending this year very happy. Um, just the things that were really defining were like kind of negative. Other than like, I love my job and obviously quit coffee, quit drinking. That stuff's positive, but um, yeah. So I got pneumonia and you know, I went to a doctor. Like I, when I realized it was pneumonia cause I've had pneumonia before, I went to a doctor, which took three weeks because that's how long it took me to get an appointment because they're always booked out. So I did that. The dog wants to come in. Um, and then I go see the doctor and <laughs> we did the test. They were like, yep, you have pneumonia. And I did have pneumonia. And then they prescribed me some stuff and it wouldn't be enough. Um, and so I would still be sick. And then it would take me another three, four weeks before I could get another appointment. And that happened twice that they just under prescribed me the things that I needed and wouldn't see me. So um, I'm okay now, I have recovered. Isn't that right, Banjo? But yeah, it was like three, four months of just like, you know, after the boxing match, I was so fit. And I really wish I could have kept that fitness and kept working out. That would have been like one upside to the hell of that training process, but I couldn't because I had pneumonia and you can literally die. So, which also made like losing the weight from boxing a bit tough. Initially, I uh, once I got cleared from pneumonia and started working out again, it wasn't hard, but initially it was kind of tough. Um, and then I got in a car accident. <laughs> While I still had pneumonia, I didn't even see where it came from. Guy just smashed into the side of the car, T-boned me. That shit was pretty scary, um, but I'm okay. And then I went to Greece for my birthday. That was awesome. I had such a good time there. Let me tell you, Greece, beautiful place. <laughs> Who would have guessed? No, it was, it was really, really cool to be there. It's also just because I'm Australian and I now live in the Northern Hemisphere, my birthdays used to be in winter and I am very much a summer person. I like the beach, I like swimming in the ocean. I like walking in the sun, that is my jam. And so moving to the Northern Hemisphere and having a summer birthday is really nice, but it's not always warm then in LA. So I just try to go places that I know will be warm for my birthday and it's really nice. Greece was really, really hot. In fact, part of the country was on fire while I was there. Um, and then I got to go home and see my family, which was always lovely, just for a short little stint. Went home for 10 days over Thanksgiving. Um, we get that time off from work. So I was like, well, why not? Go to Australia, see my family, see said sick family member. I got to see my grandma. She's like 95 and is still so sprightly. And like, she came from a bad life of poverty, like didn't finish school because she had to leave early so that she could work. She's, yeah, she could still like hike, you know? Like she's, damn, it's so nuts how well she's doing. So that was lovely. And then came home, dad visited for a week, which is always awesome. And then went to Big Bear for Christmas. I don't really remember if I had goals leading into 2023. I know that I really wanted to try to fix my work-life balance, try to make my life a little more sustainable so that I wasn't like every two weeks on the brink of burnout. And I think I've finally done that. I actually did it after saying I would do it for 10 years. Started making far less YouTube videos and just saying, screw it to being timely. If I wanna talk about something, I will do it in my own way and won't be worried about doing it on time because that never really mattered. I just, it was burned into my head from IGN and, and from being a journalist before that, I think that I like needed to, you know? It's like, it's part of the job when you talk about video games is you have to talk about them at a certain time. And like, I just had not managed to divorce that from my brain. I was even like that at Funhouse. Basically just shifted the way that I do that. And I feel really good about it. And yeah, my diet's really good. I've been cooking a lot more. I think now that I'm not as stressed with uh, work all the time, like I can take up, I can take care of myself more, which is awesome. You like that. Overall, despite health issues and like a really tough start, I think I had a good year. I would say I had a good year. I'm pretty happy. I have some goals for 2024. I really want to regulate my sleep. Right now my sleeping patterns are always all over the place because it depends on my workload. And I need to change that. I need to make it so that if I don't have enough time in the day to finish working, that work has to be pushed to the next day. And that is what it is. I'm working on my next short film. I have a bunch of really cool people on board that I'm really excited about. Like, it's like, we got some pretty big names on this and then hope to film it in February, but probably March, it'll probably be March. And I'm really excited about it. Um, this one's not that expensive. I'm gonna fully self-fund it. And then the next one that I have already half written, I just know I can't afford because it'll be more expensive to make. I might do like a 
like a GoFundMe Kickstarter type thing for the next one because I don't think I'll be able to afford it, but I still really want to make it. It's a story I really need to tell correctly. Whereas the one that I'm making this year, I think it'd be fun to make. I think it'd be fun to watch. What you take from it matters less, you know, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm gonna talk about like some personal negatives this year, like, like other than just being sick. I think I have been taken advantage of a little and then I probably need to figure out a means to like vet that better. More travel than I've ever done any other year either, um, which I always do while working, which is really tough, but I went to the Bahamas, I went to the UK, I went to Poland, I went to Finland, went to Greece, went to Australia, bunch of international travel this year. It was, it was awesome. I like, I think it's a very Aussie thing, but live to travel is certainly a thing we do. Seeing new places, meeting new people, new perspectives, big fan. Alrighty, that is my hair and makeup done. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm gonna put my dress on, go to a party, yell Happy New Year with a bunch of people. I'm gonna do like a little office tour vlog um, because I finally did all my cable management. It just took me ages to get to it. So we'll have that maybe like next week. And then I got, yeah, more stuff I intend to make on this channel that I just haven't got to yet. So we'll get there. I hope you all had a lovely 2023 and that you have an even better 2024. Happy New Year.